morning. We are on our way to breakfast and I don't know what we're going to do today. The wife's putting her toe condom on. Yep. To prevent her shoes from turn the toes from turning black. From her shifter. From her shifter, she puts a ankle sock over her shoes. It's pretty ingenious if you think about it. The ingenious part is, is it only cost me a sock. So now I got one lonesome ankle sock floating around here somewhere. No, this is my sock. No, it ain't, because your sock wouldn't fit over your shoe. I have a bigger foot. <laughs> We got our breakfast done, and we're trying to decide what we want to do or where we want to ride to. It's like, I guess, which direction to go. We don't really don't care where we go or what we do. We're just trying to decide on which direction we want, want to go. So we're still kind of figuring that out, I guess. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh. <clears throat> this is shaping up to be a very epic video. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are, we ended up coming home because A, I had to edit a video, and B, we had to get plane tickets ordered and finalize a trip that we're taking in November. But now that we have all that done, we're gonna get back on the bikes and we're gonna go somewhere, do something, I don't know. Something. We'll figure it out. So we stopped at Rockies, which Rockies is not my favorite store in the world, and it's just personal preference and experience. Um, but we ended up spending two hundred dollars in there because we bought her a new helmet and me some new gloves. I've been kind of trying to talk her into getting a full face helmet for a while now anyway because when I bought my full face helmet it was it was a game changer when it come to riding in the rain and cold weather and things like that I've been trying to talk her into doing it so we finally ponied up the dough and got her one so now we are going to boogie on up to Frankenmuth and get some ice cream. We have came, we have saw, we have conquered the ice cream quest. Yes. So, and I, I have a sprinkle caught in my tooth. I've been trying to Perhaps. suck out, basically. Suck it off. <laughs> anyway. All right, so now we're gonna, yep. We're just gonna get on the bikes and go somewhere, I guess. I don't know. Bye. Somewhere.
So we are in Frankenmuth, Michigan. We're at Bronner's, and Bronner's is, they say, the largest Christmas store, but I don't know if it is. I've never been to any other Christmas stores, so I can't tell you if it's the largest. Um, it is very, very big, though. It is ginormous. Um, and it's open 361 days a year. And anything to have to do with Christmas, you can get it here. Um, as that last clip was just kind of like some of the the decorations and displays that are up year round here. Um, I'm looking at a Santa Claus on a motorcycle. You can't see it probably, but it's right next to that that blue car right there. Um, and they light this up every night this gets lit up. Um, and I'm, because it's Sunday, I really don't feel like sticking around here until 10.30, 11 o'clock at night when they light it up. So we have been through here before and I think, didn't we do a video a couple years ago? Yep. It was like, it, it was unusually warm yep. in the winter and we happened to come up here around we were up here around five or six when it was dark out yep. and everything was lit up and we were riding through here on the motorcycle so it was actually pretty cool um maybe at some point here in the near future we'll come up here and kind of show you all the christmas lights or whatever maybe even come up here at christmas time with the truck who knows so all right just a little edumacation I guess yep. all right we're gonna continue on I think we might start heading home we just stopped at the outlet malls in Bertrand and was working. I went to the hay dude outlet and I wasn't impressed with the selection of hay dudes but the Nike outlet had a crap load of Jordans of every every color now all, all different sizes I didn't buy any but Mama won't let me. Ooh, that car almost hit the other car. It's kind of funny. All right, we're gonna get rolling home. Well, we made it home. Um, and today was one of those riding days. It's hard to describe, but you, you're literally on the motorcycle all day long. You feel like you're traveling all over the place and we put 95 miles on <laughs> literally we were on the bike all day i mean other than the hour or so Stop we home. came home to edit a video and by plane order get our plane tickets res reserved and stuff like that it was literally 95 miles all we put on today and we were up in frankenmuth and over in Schwartz creek and in fenton i mean we were all over the place yeah. it just felt like we were riding all it day like long it. yeah it did so anyway, we're home. <laughs> it was pretty much a day of just chillaxing. Yep. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.